Hello, and welcome back to our Let's Play as Brazil here in Civilization VI. Let's continue where we left off. Looks like we're about to finish that industrial zone. Man, poor Japan is still getting beat up. Well, they brought it on themselves, so... I guess too bad for them. Okay, let's see. What do we need to improve? I guess we could put a lumber mill here. Well, that makes sense. We could throw another farm up over here. Maybe a mine on the hill. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's grab a... Hmm. I guess let's grab a workshop real quick. Makes sense. Let's grab a university. Needs more housing. Okay, we'll we'll get to that. I'm frankly okay with the slowed growth for the moment. Well, okay, let's go over there then. up here actually that needs this needs an improvement all oh, right there really you're denouncing me okay you were a warmonger some of that stuff doesn't make any sense. I haven't declared war, you declared war, you got your face kicked in, just deal with it. Unless it's stating it from the standpoint of... We wouldn't let them out of the war? Still though, it's their fault. Times have changed, and the era of diplomatic delegations has passed. A diplomat is a man who always remembers a woman's birthday, but never remembers her age. <laughs> we want to change any of this? 50% production towards spies, spy operations take 25% less time. Resident embassy, declare holy war, liberation war, reconquest, protectorate war. All right, let's, so let's, we'll just take a look here. We don't need this anymore, I don't think. At least for now. Let's grab some more great merchant points, actually. Plus two housing in all cities with at least three specialty districts. That is useful. Okay. 
Uh, I think this is fine for now. Grab humanism, I guess, and then we'll continue along this path. Ooh, that's a nice one. Rationalism, plus 100 science from campus district buildings. Yeah, that's that's really good. There's some nice ones in Enlightenment. You know what? Let's work towards that, then. We'll get humanism, and then we'll work towards Enlightenment. Earn three great people. Let's take a look at where we're at. I know that we were close. Was it great general? Yeah, we're close on great general. And we're making pretty good progress on great engineer. And great scientist, because we got nine great sciences points per turn. So that's pretty good. Yeah, we're like way ahead. We're like crazy ahead of everyone else in terms of points per turn. That's good. That's good to see. Keep that science edge, hopefully. Okay, espionage, right. We don't have any spies yet. Let's look at world ranking. Let's look at that. Science. No one's completed the steps. Okay, so we're okay here. Domination. We are currently in second place on score. Okay. We're leading in science. Third place on domination. Fifth, oh yeah, religion, right? Third place in culture. I'd say we're doing pretty well then. Which is kind of, I think, <laughs> very fortunate considering I was, you know, pretty confused my first time out playing this. So, the, I think it's helped playing by myself um, and coming back to to this game that I'm doing with all of you. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Watermill, I guess, yeah? Yeah. And... Same thing here. We've got a builder, so let's get to work on that. Musket man, why don't you go hang out? Yeah, encampment. Over here, we'll do another farm. Our war weariness and whatnot is pretty much gone away. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Here we go. So let's see. City status. Yeah, down to minus three in Tokyo and Sendai. Everywhere else it's gone. That's pretty nice. Happy, 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 content, happy, happy, content. We've got housing issues. Yeah, that we're going to need to fix. But that, that's okay. I mean, overall, I think it's fine. Oh, yep. Religious district, you can't fix that. Go back this way. Okay. Fortify. Farm. Should have maybe picked up that policy where you get plus two usages of the builders, but they're so easy to build. It's so easy to build the builders. Say that ten times real fast. <laughs> that I just wasn't thinking, like, really needed to do that. Check and see if we can get some deals going on. I've got those embassies now, too. Let me see if I can establish some of those. We 
go get you a little production going there. Let's talk to Cleopatra. We're happy to allow you to construct the embassy in our capital. Okay, great. Goodbye. Play friendship. I've counted on Caesars and Pharaohs among my companions. What do you think you're worthy? Um, because we've we've been pals. Just a thought here. Okay, let's see. Please to see another industrial civilization. Respect strong militaries. Declared friend. Good trade relations. Established resident embassy. Maybe in a few turns we'll be able to get another declaration going. Let's see, you want to buy some furs? Oh, hey, accept deal. That'll work. Make a deal. How about you? What do you want to what do you want to give me? 72 gold? Are you for real with this? You're terrible, man. You're just terrible, seriously. See if we can make a deal with this guy. Really? Come on, man. I know you're, I know we were at war and you're kind of broke right now, but please. All right, resident embassy. Oh, you're not interested. Declare friendship. Not interested. Make deal. Hmm. No, not doing that. And Harold, I don't really want to make a deal with because I think he's the guy I'm going to go after. How about Saladin? Really? Come on now. Alright, so we got a resident embassy. Good. Yeah, they don't like us very much, but... Probably because of the hidden agenda, right? Though it doesn't list that as being a problem. Well, it is hidden after all, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's grab university. Want to keep that science edge going. For certain. For certain. Can form a new trade route. I might use I might use it internally to help out these little cities here. Like this? Yeah, let's do this. Oh! Really? Okay. Let's head, let's send some troops this way, just in case you've got some ideas, which I think you do. Come on, man. Didn't you just see what I did to Japan? Like, really, dude? Okay, whatever. My military is really weak, according to her. Even though I have more firepower than her. Like, all right. 
whatever. Let's get a farm. Greeks are now at war with Cleopatra. Okay. All the best romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. Okay, so we've got access to Renaissance walls, as well as forts. Now we'll have two universities soon, so... Let's switch off of printing. We'll switch to banking. Get an encampment out here. It's, it's kind of unnecessary for this city. Could put an industrial zone right here. It'd be better if we had both a strategic resource and a mine. But, or a mine and a quarry, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get that. And this is a worthless tile otherwise. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Have a conversation with him real quick. So they are still willing to deal with this, just not very much, huh? Okay. There we go. Printing is boosted. Grab medieval walls. Let's get another builder.
I mean, it looks like he's staging an attack, but maybe he just wants to go around? I guess it's possible. But I've done the whole, let's give them open borders so they'll go through and then been attacked, so, yeah. I don't think I'm going to do that this time out. Hmm. So he wants open borders. And he wants an amenity, and all he's going to give me is 20 gold. I guess I could do it just to, just to see if he will actually just pass through. Because I'm not exactly ready to attack him yet anyway. And he was kind of the target we were looking at. It's not the greatest deal, three gold per turn, but... Everyone's broke. All right, we'll do it just to see what happens. It might be worth it. Everything here appears calculated to inspire kind and happy feelings. For everything is delicate and beautiful. Nice. So I guess next turn we'll get access to the new policy, or when we unlock the next Civic. Hmm. No, right now, okay. Hundred percent production towards medieval renaissance and industrial heavy era, uh, era and light cavalry units. No. Combat victories over units from earlier eras provides gold equal to fifty percent of the combat strength of the defeated unit. That could actually be really good. Or we could just go for flat reduced maintenance. Let's do that, actually. That's the whole money you can count on deal. Yeah, look at look at that. Boom. It's huge. Now, if we grab a shrine and a temple, we can then purchase... Oh, no, this just says a regular pan pantheon. If we get Buddhism here, we can purchase meeting houses, but... It just seems like it's not worth it. How's your housing? It's a problem. I don't have any real easy way to fix that problem either. Plus two culture to all rainforest tiles in this city. Plus one production to all rainforest tiles in the city. put that right there you want to go for another wonder plus two culture that would give us plus six across those three tiles and plus one production If we worked them, which I don't know that we would. Yeah, that I, I'm not sold on that. Let's grab a factory. Hey. 
If you owe the bank $100, that's your problem. If you owe the bank $100 million, that's the bank's problem. Oh, look at that. Plus five gold, plus one citizen sh uh, slot, and great merchant point. Yeah, banks are nice. Great Zimbabwe. Plus one trade route capacity. Your trade routes from this city gain plus two gold for every bonus resource in the city's territory. Must be built adjacent to a commercial hub district market and adjacent to cattle. I think we can build that in our capital when we were looking at that earlier. I think so. We'll have to check that out. All right, and then research, we'll go back to printing. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later. <laughs>